So today I'm in the excursion. I want to fix a problem I've got with my overhead uh, light, the overhead console. So this is what I've got right here. The regular, you know, excursion. I think some of the super duties the same way. Uh, explore, uh, expeditions too. But so what they've got for this light is kind of cheesy here. Uh, this thing snaps in like the... This thing snaps in like this, and they got the buttons, and they have these, check out these, uh, how the wiring was on it. So they've got this little piece of Mylar circuit board. It's a little flexible circuit board. It plugs into this plug here, this guy, which I've pulled out of there. And then that fits up around, the circuit board was around this edge. I can't get it up in there around that thing like that right it's broken obviously and then they have these things which hold you can see i had led bulbs in there before i tried and they didn't work very well and these plug in like that and twist and of course that circuit board is supposed to be under there and it makes contact uh and lights it up shines the light backwards into that little reflector back there and points it out back, you know, toward toward you, toward the driver. So, and we got a switch here. This switch would turn on this light, which I've removed, just trying to figure out how it puts together, because uh, it shines down toward the driver. And then this one here uh, does this one, which dry, which actually goes toward me, towards, I'm in the passenger seat right now. So what I want to do is uh, remove this. I've I got some cat eye uh, LEDs, which if I can get up in there and wire them, I think they'll be perfect because I already got lenses pretty focused. Uh, I think it'll be a huge improvement over what we got now. And I don't want to tear it up and destroy it so we can't, you know, make some mods that like hack up the car, the original stuff. So I'm going to see if I can use this and just put the cat eye right in the middle of it with a nut and then bring in the wires. And uh, I'll probably just solder them to this. And I'll show you how to do this on the one I get on the bench. So I'm going to take the console down. So you can see here it's, you know, full-size console. In this compartment here, the eyeglass holder, there's a Phillips screw. Take that out. And then there's a couple of uh, clamps up here for the front. You just give it a pull it down. They snap the, those little metal clips. And then in the back, the same thing. Snap that down. And then you rock it forward a little bit, and it should come out of there. So hopefully I can do it without destroying the thing. And then, uh, so then I'll let you see what it looks like when it's out. Because I only have two hands. I don't have anybody helping me. And this is a low budget operation here. <laughs> um, but then we'll get it on the bench and I'll, I'll show you how I wire those lights in and we'll put it back together and see how it performs. Okay, so that's what I got for now. We'll be back to you in a minute. Uh, down, um, and now I'm, I'm going to show you where the tabs are so that you see how it's connected. So up here, you see a little slot there. That's where this tab fits into. This is a standard kind of a, a body tab, panel metal tab that you see all over automotive. In the front, there's two of them. You can see there's one there. And let's see if I can see the, And there's the other one, right? And they just snap into those plastic slots that you see. Um, so now I got the wiring, right? Um, well, one thing to point out is, see there's a dead-headed connector there that's wired into the vehicle. So that would be for the option, I'm sure, where I don't have an option. This is an Excel version, uh, but that's where it would have the data center with the uh, uh, compass and thermometer and all that kind of stuff in there. So I, I guess the only reason I point that out is because, you know, the wiring is there. If you wanted to do a mod and di get a different overhead, you might be able to make that all work uh, relatively easily. But anyways, getting back to what we're doing, uh let's see so we got one big connector here uh standard automotive connector obviously you know some of them are different some you got to put a screwdriver underneath some of them have tabs this one here you just push up you can see my thumb push up in this tab 
and give it a pull. Now it's clipped on. It's clipped onto the overhead too, but this should come off here relatively easily. One would think. <laughs> okay, so I got that off of there. It's like a 16 pin connector. And there's another one over here. And this one has another tab. And this tab is on the back side over up in here. So I'm pushing it with my index finger. And that comes out. Ooh, I almost lost a little. Okay, so I got it. I got it down. I didn't break anything. So that gives you a little lay of the land. That's how that works. This thing here, this little metal tab, that's where that center screw went in that we took out. So, and then these guys here, these are, I guess, to aid when you're installing it because you can hook it up there and then connect your wires and then put it up in place. So, anyway, so so I'm going to go to the uh, uh, to my workbench, uh, my electronics shop, and uh, we're going to take a look at this a little more closely, see what we need to do to do those mods for the LED uh, cat eyes. Okay, see you in a few. So one thing I forgot to do uh, is check the polarity of that connection because the LEDs uh, have to be wired in with proper polarity. So what I did is I just temporarily plugged it back in and I've got my little probe here. This is just a light. The, the wire is grounded at one end and so I need to open the door so I get those back lights on. And it looks like they're on. Okay. So now if I come here and probe. Okay. So that's that's lit on that one. Not on that. And it's lit on that one. So that means I've got positive on the two outsides for the left and right. And the center is the ground, which is the negative. So. Okay, so now I know how to wire it when I take it to the bench. So here we are now. We're up on my bench up here. It was a little messy, but I want to show you some of the things that I was trying to do here. So these are the pods that are from the, you know, that are shine down into the vehicle compartment. And inside is an insert that looks like this here. So this is it's like that and shines down. These were, let me see here. These were the bulbs I think I showed you. They fit inside there and then the reflector shines it down. So I just didn't like that. It's just not, doesn't seem very efficient. The LED bulbs, at least the ones that I had were, you know, they're pretty cheesy. Uh, there's just two little LEDs in there. So I was looking at these things called cat eyes. These big old guys, and you can see they have a lens built into them, so they're very directional. So I thought, well, if I can mount these uh, in that same space at the same angle, it'd probably be much better than what I had. I also looked at some other things like these rock lights. These things are uh, pretty bright, but they just, uh, the dimensions of them just didn't seem to fit. I didn't want to cobble this all up in here trying to fasten them and drill holes and all that kind of crazy stuff so so i went with this what i ended up doing is taking that housing and i opened up the back side these fins were like this you can see this they was closed up that was just how they came i don't know there wasn't anything going through that hole or anything like that but i opened it up so that i could have access to it and I dropped the cat eye light through there. So you can see it's like this. So I just, you know, took the nut off of there. And I also got a washer. Ah. Now this is a 3 8 AN washer, AN Army Navy. It just means the outside diameter is smaller than normal. There's specs to it. But, but anyway, just a stainless washer. You use anything that, that, that fits well in there, but... The 3 8 uh, ID, actually, I correct myself, I think that's a 7 16 actually. Um, so that fits over the shaft of this quite nicely and still gets captured by the nut. And it fits nice and flat on that inside edge there, 
which is down under there. So you can see how I've got it in place there. So now what I want to do, I'm going to do the other one just like that. Uh, and then I want to somehow connect the wires to this. So this was the original connector. This was snapped into this holder right there, that, this little piece, and it had this ribbon cable. This is uh, just a mylar, flexible mylar circuit board, basically is all it is. It's got copper traces on it. You can see that and what that did, is that slides in there, makes contact, and then this distributed it to those uh, lamp holders. So uh, the heat and changing the lamps uh, damaged these and they just kind of fell off of there. So I think what I want to do, I, I was going to solder these wires onto this right here. Just trim this off, scrape off the, uh, uh, the coating there and then solder the wires on there, and then I could plug it in and out. And I still may try and do that, but but I may end up just snipping these wires here because I believe the LEDs, once I get them installed, I think these are good enough quality ones where I won't have to, to uh, replace them. So uh, the other thing I did too is I made, no <laughs> I made note of which wire here went to which side so that I didn't, crosswire them so when I turn on the passenger side it lights up the driver side and vice versa the black ones are the common neutral uh, which is ground chassis ground okay so that's where I'm at with this thing I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna configure the next one the same as same as this and I, I may show a clip of me doing that it depends on uh, if I can hold this camera good enough okay so now I want to put the little pods right back in so you see one then's got a little this little corner sticking out here and the other one's got a wider piece now over here there's a ramp and over here there's a slot so i take the small piece put it in the slot like that and now i can just push this in and it should snap into place like that so i just do the same thing on both sides and there's my other lamp over here Again, this goes into the slot. And then this piece should just snap, snap in like that. So now I've got, now I've got both of my pieces here. Uh, I should have stripped off this one when I had it out, but I'll get this stripped off and we'll splice these, splice the grounds together. And then we'll hook them into this connector here. Okay, so now I've got the uh, the two pods in, the light pods in. Uh, I've stripped back both of them, and we've tied the two blacks, or the grounds, together. That'll be the negative side of the battery, negative 12 volts, or negative, which would be 12-volt system. So now I'm, I'm coming to this guy. This was the original connector. Again, I, and I've noticed which wire is on which side. Gray went to this side here, brown went to that side. And then, of course, the black is the ground. So I'm going to come up here with my with my snips, and I'm going to cut the wires. One, there we go. All right. So these are my connection points. The brown one needs to connect to this, and the gray one needs to connect over here. So what I'm going to do first is strip these back a little bit these are a little stiffer than i expected them to be now i've got regular strippers but for small wires these sometimes work better because i can just kind of get them into tighter places and then Mr. Ground here, I'll pull that out so we can get to it. I'm not cutting, I'm just cutting through the insulation. And 
getting it so I can strip it off. And then of course, so I'm gonna solder these, so I'm gonna use shrink tubing. And I think I've got a good size here. So I'll just take a shrink tubing and cut off three pieces about an inch long, I guess they are probably each. There we go. So then, so I don't forget, the first thing I do is I, I slide the shrink tube over. First thing you do, get the shrink tube on there. Everybody gets one. Make sure you push them down far enough so that when you're soldering, it doesn't start to shrink prematurely. All right, so the uh, let's do the black one first. So this is the ground. So I'm just going to wrap this around. It's a really big wire connecting to, to a really small wire, so. Hopefully you can see that. So we'll get a little piece of solder out of here. Done. Okay. Okay, so this side goes to the brown, which is over here. Again, really fine wire, like 28 gauge or something on these LEDs. But they only draw probably a couple hundred milliamps at best, so it's all the size that's really needed, but unfortunately it makes them a little bit de delicate. And speaking Mr. Steady Hand here. I used to be a lot steadier about 40 years ago. Okay, so the remainder one is a brown one. I'm sorry, the uh, the uh, gray one for this side. And I'm going to strip that back, put a little bit more a little bit more on there. done I'm done with the solder iron for right now okay so now I just slide the shrink tube up it actually serves a couple of purposes it keeps the keeps the uh, wire from shorting out but it also strengthens that connection there where that where there's no insulation on the small diameter wire so we'll pull that up there too all right, so usually you have a heat gun. Uh, you can use, I kind of hate to do it, but let me show you how to use a, how to use it, use the match. So, now I've seen guys do this and sometimes they get carried away. Don't put the flame on it. Just let the heat of it rise. See it shrinking up there? Done. Just the heat of it. Don't let the flame, you don't want to catch it on fire. Done. This guy here. This one's gonna be tougher. Ah, see, you don't wanna catch it on fire. Okay. Uh, did we do any damage there? No, I don't think so. All right, so there it is, it's wired. So now what we'll do is we'll get some, some little baby uh, some little baby zip ties and we'll tie these up neatly so they don't get damaged when we install it and then uh, we'll go check it out in a few minutes and see how it works and so i just got, thought i'd go ahead and show you how i'm gonna hook up these uh zip ties here so you got these little guys make a loop i've got a piece right there look at that made for it 
I'll pull that up snug. Do the same thing on this guy. And that's where that old bracket used to go. That connector for the ribbon cable. Put that there like that. These guys, we'll pull these down. And let's put one over there on that as well. So keep them kind of safe. Can we do that? And there you got a nice neat job. Now we'll light it up and, and see what it does. So I'm gonna get the <coughs> uh, 12 volt supply, just check them, make sure they work before I install the, the console and uh, take it from there. Okay, I just got the uh, console back installed. And so I just snapped it in place. Of course, I didn't put the cover on yet, but so that would be the driver's side. It's pointing the right direction. And that would be the passenger side. And uh, I think it's gonna be good. If I open both doors, gonna both. Uh, I'll check it out tonight, but I think it's a huge improvement over what I had. Thanks a lot. Okay, so it's time to see how he did with the excursion. We come over here. And uh, hit the unlock button. <laughs> Get awesome. That is awesome. So, that is like 10 times brighter than it was. Let me get in. <sighs> that is like so great. Let me try it. Obviously, I've got ABS brake problems, but that's a different fix for a different day. So, here's the driver's side light. That is like killer. And then there's the passenger side. So, with that, I'd say we did a pretty good fix. It's like, this is awesome. And by the way, those were 18 millimeter cat eye lenses. Got them off of Amazon, pretty cheap. I think I bought a package of 10 of them. It was like $14 or something like that. They make smaller diameter ones, but I wanted the bigger ones. So anyways, really good fix. If you got problems with your overhead lights, they work really well. I hope this helped somebody out there. If you uh, enjoyed the video, like and subscribe.